Hello, welcome to channel Mass of Excel. I am Daniel. In the video, I show you how to VLOOK up the values using Excel sheet names from multiple sheet data sets. It is common to look up the value from multiple sheet data in combination of if error with Excel cell references or name manager. But look up the value by sheet name or tab name from multiple sheet data is a big task for most of users. The most advantage of lookup by sheet name is that when we make changes in sheet name which automatically returns to the lookup arguments which performs the combination of key functions shell with file name and choose formulas. These are the methods to follow to execute the formulas. Before we enter into the tutorial, I request that if you have not subscribed the channel so far, please subscribe along with your valuable comments. Let us refer the worksheet. In the workbook, we can see there are three sheets named with April, May, June, contained with sales, teams, sales value data. In the fourth sheet, the list of sheet names have been arranged with formulas, April, May, June in three sheets. The purpose of giving the formula with the sheet name is to fetch the changes in the sheet name can automatically reflect here so that based on this changes data we can simply look up from sheet name very simply. These formulas are the key function for returning the sheet name changes. The next task is to look up the value of sales team from record sheets with look, VLOOKUP and choose functions in one step. In the VLOOKUP arguments, I have used the name manager for quick references. That's all the tasks to understand. Let us formula create and see the use of unit functionality of this function. Firstly, to remove the formulas from the sheet first. Okay. The first task is to create the formula for bringing the sheet name here. There are three sheets. So we have assigned one, two, three sheets in order. As you can understand that uh, to bring the sheet name, we are using the formula cell, then file name, in which you can see the file name very simply. And second task is to the file name is vlookup underscore sheet name is the sheet name. To unique value of sheet name as a secondary formula we have to use find function with the help of mid. With combination of mid cell with file name and find function the unique vlookup sheet name will be bring in a cell. So let us formulate the function merge then cell file name then go to the corresponding cell reference. Then next syntax of mid function is to start number. So we have to assign the 
start number from where we have to start the for we look up sheet name, name for which we have to use the find function this is simply copy the cell complete formula plus one next fifty let us check the syntax of mid function text next is index is start number the last number is number of characters the moment I enter the sheet name we look up sheet name will be sorry month name will be activated here right you can see it similar way we need to formulate the function for other sheets also so just copy down simply change the sheet name my here make that sorry main copy down change the sheet name join okay suppose let us check the changes in the sheet name is reflected in the cell or not suppose April in a complete text now I want I am going to shorten the description of April APR right the complete word of April APRL has been shortened to APR so this is the advantage as and when we are changing the sheet name will automatically reflect in the sheet cell value automatically so I am back to the full description of April okay so there are three sheets we look up the value so we have given the one two three sheet name in order next one the same sheet number has to be placed here as a helper column Now last step is to look up the value from corresponding sheets. Now we are look up the value for team one salesperson from both of uh, three months. Sorry, three months April, May and June sales data to bring over here for a particular team one. First we look up as a standard function team one. Now we start the choose function. In a choose function, this index will be index number. To bring the index number, we need to create the VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP with sheet name. From the list we arranged here. Then sheet name number as 1. then last is index of choose function value one two three means respective sheet ranges so I have already arranged the name manager so I am fetching the ranges through name manager APR this triple and May last one is June ok 
plans then VLOOKUPS index third of second column that's all then copy down let us check in the month of April the team one got sales value of 24779 let us check in the April sheet team one 24779 right for a similar team in the month of May value will be 18375 correct the same team for in the month of June double to 1756 correct the total sales achieved during the first quarter April May June will be 65329 is the total figure achieved suppose you are making any changes in the sheet name that will also automatically change in the formula arguments automatically no need to take any worry while we are changing the sheeting name that's all in the video and uh, hope it is a very useful content for your working you may please watch the previous videos for other version of VLOOKUP functions for a better references to making very easy tasks. I am ending this video now and shall continue with another effective topics. Till then bye and thanks for the watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and comment. Thank you.